Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle anew from CZT Priya Sablok. I hope I pronounced that right, um, Priya. All right. This is a really neat border tangle and it has, gosh, a number of options. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of draw one uh diagonally because I like to do things diagonally and um, it starts off and, and following the step out because there are options and we'll talk about those so following the step outs we're just going to draw let's see we get in the right position here there we go um, some triangles and you know what? I'm going to start in the middle and you know what? I'm going to do this rather big so, so I say, at least at the moment, <laughs> and you know, when you're trying, they don't meet, just, you know, make it up there at the end. So starting one direction and then continuing in the other direction, but we're going to vary, we're going to, you know, flip them every other one. So this, the, the tip or the point is down. This next one, the point is going to be up. And I'm also going to make this one eh, just a tad bit smaller. They don't have to match. Um, you can have as much fun with this as you want. And I love that about this tangle. Just love that. All right. And I'm going to, well, actually, it doesn't matter which way I do it. I just have to make sure that I'm, this one, I'm starting with a point up here. And like so. And then the point is going to be down. We'll start, we'll just do like that. Okay, then <laughs> next step is we are just trying to get this so that way my hand isn't completely in the way and, and, and neither is the shadow. Wait, let me just move. Okay, next <laughs> is um, we're just going to draw some, well, straight lines. I did some that were curvy, whatever ends up working. But so we're going to do two lines straight, you know, just going straight through these. And I would say, you know, like about, whoops, well, that is one of those that's not going to matter. This will just be thin in here. Um, kind of, a th you know, a third of the way through because we're going to draw two lines. So however two lines fit, that's how you make it work. Okay. Then we're going to fill them in. And I'm just going to fill these ones in solid. But you could, I mean, of course, if you wanted to, to you know, put in a texture um, or whatever you want. Now this we're also going to alternate. So for instance, well, let me look first. I'm looking for where, you know what, I'm going to do right here first because I certainly wouldn't mind to straighten up that little place there that I, um, that little bump on the side. Let me just do that with the, uh, the O1. That's what I always do when I, when I, when I know I'm going to fill in and it's something that can be alternated like this one, then it's like, well, where do I need to course correct? And it was right there. So what I'm going to do is, so I filled in the bottom half, and now I'm going to fill in the top. Or not bottom half, bottom third. Bottom section, we'll just call it that, because it doesn't have to be thirds by any means. It's whatever you end up with. And then the next one, we're going to do just the center. So actually thinking about it like, um, say, the Tangle uh, Knight's Bridge, but, you know, but sort of, but not really, <laughs> sort of in the, in the manner of uh, that we are alternating. Well, it could be, you know, it's like a checkerboard that's in thirds. <laughs> and then the next one, we're going to go back to the other way. And while I am filling these in, I already mentioned the course correction idea. Um, and that you could fill these in with, you know, other tangles, like textury tangles, like orbs or, um, I mean, it depends on how big you do these, right? Um, orbs, I did some with some straight lines. Uh, today is Thursday, so that means it's tangle time day. So we, this was our feature tangle. And I'm trying to remember what else I had seen. 
Um, just some really, really neat things. And you know, if you want to see what we did on our Tangle Time, make sure to go to my website. Link is in the description box, uh, tangleaddicts.com. And uh, sign up or follow me on my, my blog. It just says uh, it's on the right hand side, maybe a little ways down, or I have links to other things like my Pinterest and, you, and this YouTube channel. Um, but there's a place that says follow me, and that's essentially my blog. And as soon as I am done with uh, processing the recordings of the class replays, I also, while I'm doing that, I'm collecting pictures from our Facebook group and, and those that participated and they'll send me their, um, you know, what their work. And I put that in a gallery and I send that out. So you'll see the screenshots. Um, and like I said, any of the work that I either uh, grabbed off of our, our Facebook group or that were emailed into me and I'll have links to the step outs there as well as uh, this video and the two replays. So sign up for that if you if you're interested and uh, that way you'll get it automatically. And then you can see some of the other great ideas. And so this is essentially it. And now there I mean there could be oh, there's a ton of ways you can have fun with this. One of the things is that you don't have to stick to triangles. You'll notice on, well, and I did it on my step out as well, following, following um, uh, Priya's lead, because you'll see on her step out as well, and both of those links are in the description, where she used other shapes. You'll also see uh, a link to Tangle Patterns, where she has that uh, posted at uh, some of her work. And I always like to show from the cre show the work from the originator of the Tangle, because I think that that's, it's important. And then you see my step out, and... And you know we go from there. So let me show you some of the some of the work that we did. This one is not completely finished. I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet um, after this. But uh, this one I decided to do a little bit different shape. So still kind of triangly. But uh, she had something on on one of her samples. I'm like, oh, I really like that. And um, and here I, I, I you know I'm still not sold. I decided to do orbs and fill in. I might change my mind. And then some lines. I I couldn't decide, so I just decided to do some of each. And then. The, the beauty is I can always go back and fill it in with the same color and, and, and know what I'm going to get there. But I just wanted to play with that a little bit. I did a little bit of shading uh, on uh, on the, the surfboard uh, shaped triangles. And um, and anyway, yeah, it was just fun. It did, did a little aura around the outside. That's always a really nice way to finish up a tangle. Uh, and then uh, on our earlier session, I uh, the AM session as I call it, uh, obviously this is done on a black tile. Uh, this one I decided to have it meet, ha oh no, we used, we used, uh, uh, Tootle, which was yesterday's tangle. If you're following me, you know, day to day, that was yesterday's tangle. Um, this one, you know, I did it just like the, the step out with the, uh, the triangles and, and did it around, you know, in a, in the border and just had a lot of fun with it. And I decided, well, because, uh, on our, on our call, mom decided to do this. Uh, she, uh, filled in, uh, with a different color this, you know, in between these sections. And I'm like, oh, that's really neat. So I decided to do it too. I think it looks really cool. So anyway, we had a lot of fun with this tangle. It's so versatile, especially because you can use different shapes. And um, yeah, just a lot of fun to be had with this. So um, enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed the video, and I hope you did, and I hope you give this tangle a try, um, would love to have a, a thumbs up or a like for it. Feel free to share it with your friends that like to, to tangle as well. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, would love to have you be a subscriber. Subscribing to the channel is, of course, free. Uh, let's see. Also, I, I hit all the other stuff uh, in between there. If, if well, Except for, if you're interested in checking out our Tangle Time and be, being on live, would love to have you. Check out the replays when they come out. I have some other replays uh, posted on uh, the YouTube channel. And I think to get to the main channel, if you just click like my face or my name, uh, somewhere in there, it'll take you to the channel itself. And then you can see all of the videos. And uh, I have it set where I have a playlist of replays. Or you can just probably search replays and you'll find them. So anyway, would love to have you join us. And yeah, information on connecting with me you know, on, is on my website. And again, would love to have you. So thanks again for watching. And I wish you happy tangling.